Hello and welcome to another video from Eyes Touch Toys, Gens and Collectibles. And today we're looking at the 1974 release by Whitman from their Doctor Who series of um, 224 large piece jigsaw puzzles. Um, and these particular series of jigsaw puzzles was released um, in conjunction with the brand new Doctor, um, Tom Baker, who had just taken over from John Pertwee as the Doctor. Okay, so this is the box that it comes in, and it says on the box, Doctor Who, 224 large piece puzzle. You've got the Whitman logo, and it's number 7511, and it's 47 by 33 centimetres, and it's 18 and a half inch by 13 inches. Um, and you can see an image of the jigsaw puzzle itself, and it is an image from the TV episode Robot, which was Tom Baker's debut um, story. And you can see the giant robot um, coming out of a um, perimeter and the unit soldiers uh, trying to stop the uh, robot. Okay, so that's the front of the box. I'll just turn the box around. I don't think there's anything on the boxes. No, as usual with these boxes, there was nothing on it. There's just some tape, residue tape marks on there. Um, but that was it. Uh, on the side of the box, it's got Whitman 7511, Doctor Who, 1974 British Broadcasting Company, authorised edition, as seen on BBC TV. And it's 224 large piece puzzle. And if I turn it to the end, again, Whitman 7411, Doctor Who, 224 large piece puzzle. And I think it's the same, yep. So on the same on this side, Whitman 7511, Doctor Who, 224 large piece puzzle, 1974 British Broadcasting Company, authorised edition, as seen on BBC TV. And again, at this end, Whitman 7511, Doctor Who, 224 large piece puzzle. Okay, let's open the box and see what we've got inside. Okay, so I've opened the box and um, oh, I've put all the pieces uh, into this um, uh, sealed bag so that we don't lose um, any of the pieces. Uh, but if I just take a few of the pieces out, we can have a look at them. I mean, they're nice, solid jigsaw pieces. Um, good quality thick card uh, which was what was used back in the day um, and they all slot together really nicely I don't know if no, these, these don't go together um, but they, they all slot together really nicely they're good very good quality and the imaging uh, on them is absolutely perfect it is, it is a photograph of what you can see in front of you there's no artwork or anything it's a proper uh, image uh, and it is 100% complete and all the pieces slot together very, very nicely, and they look fantastic assembled. And like I say, they're solid, hard, and assemble really nicely. Um, I can't, not, not a lot I can really tell you about these jigsaw puzzles, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, now, but keep watching at the, at the end, even though um, that we've, we've only got this uh, in the box in pieces. I have already built it. Um, and I will upload an image of the completed jigsaw puzzle at the end of this video uh, so you can see what it looks like fully complete. So how well did these puzzles do? Well, yeah, I think they've done very well at the time. Um, remember back in 1974, there was no such thing as video recorders or DVD players or internet or mobile phones or anything like that. You just didn't have anything. So you either had to wait for your favourite television to be rerun at some point during the course of the year, if you were lucky, or you would go out and you would buy things like jigsaw puzzles and uh, annuals and books and things, that, which was the only way you had to relive your favourite television shows. Um, so jigsaw puzzles tying in with your TV series was a very, very big thing. Uh, and obviously at the time, Doctor Who was massive. It was a huge programme, one of, one of the the most popular television programs um, on TV. And um, so, yeah, these jigsaw puzzles absolutely flew off the shelves. Um, but of course, you know, these are cardboard. Um, they were 1974, so we're talking 50 years ago. Uh, over the course of the years, obviously pieces get lost. Um, the boxes break the you know you keep making the pieces they tend to get damaged and bent and what have you and they end up being thrown away um so a lot of the uh, jigsaw puzzles that was produced back in the days have, have actually been thrown away because they've damaged or lost pieces so trying to find these jigsaw puzzles now 100 percent complete and in fabulous condition is quite difficult don't get me wrong you can pick a lot of them up on a lot of the platforms 
uh, but they're not necessarily all complete they're not necessarily of all good quality um, they do have some damage and they're not always in a decent box um, but as usual we are most touch of most of our few and they're currently available to purchase on the most touch website which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below it takes you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage doctor who items and many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody and I am absolutely positive you're not going to want to miss this because we literally have thousands and thousands of new items which we are shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there is something in particular you are looking for, Something old that you've never been able to find. Something quirky you might want to buy for a friend. Or maybe just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Don't forget, keep watching, because we haven't uploaded completed video uh, a completed image of the jigsaw at the end but thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon